cloning the Calvatia puffball with mushroom cult. First, I'm going to get my blade ready, get my workstation ready, and here you can see the collection of the Calvatia. This was it looked a lot like a, a cobblestone, but when I popped it out, it definitely has a stipe on it, and it smells like a mushroom. So here I have it in the lab, and I'm preparing a few auger plates. I'm going to take four auger plates out and put them on my flow hood bench. Just really trying to be careful to make sure that they stay clean. I already have washed hands and I'm folding this over to make sure that no dirt or anything gets inside those, those plates. Here is half of the puffball. I already cut it in half just to see what was inside. Uh, this is a white puffball so it's edible and all that center tissue will soon turn into the spore surface so it'll be full of spores which is what causes it to be called a puffball. I'm just going to take a dirty blade and start a little relief cut so I can tear it open and get some fresh clean tissue on the inside. And there you have it. Really clean beautiful tissue on the inside. I'm just doing this hours after it was collected. So I'm going to cut out a little pyramid and the tissue is very soft so I'm going to try something I've never done with a clone before. I'll put it on my first plate and then just trim off a little piece. You'll see it here. I'm trying to cut it in half and take part of it. So I left some behind and moving on to the next one. Cut that in half and then I'll pick up a piece and move on to the next one, cut that in half, and move on to the next one. This won't be possible with a lot of mushrooms because they're too dense, and so you would just do one transfer for each plate. But here I was able to cut it because it was quite soft. And a few days later, three days later, you can see that they're starting to create some mycelium around the edges, and they came out clean, all four of those plates. And so what I want to do to make sure that they stay clean is use some parafilm and tape up all the plates. I just stretch it around. I can usually stretch it around two times, all the way around the plate, overlapping on the bottom, to make sure that no dirt or insects are able to get in. This is my cloning procedure for really any mushroom. Some mushrooms um, will not grow on malt extract or potato dextrose auger. Um, this is malt extract auger. It's a very simple recipe, um, and I'm not quite sure what my next step is, but I'll probably try to grow this on pasteurized compost and see what happens. I haven't done any research yet on whether people have grown puffballs or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, worst case is I'll make some spawn and put it outside, see if I can get any growing in the yard. Uh, this is kind of a, just an experiment. I'm just getting a starting culture, and if this remains clean for a few days, then I will move on to the next step. Maybe I'll make grain, see if it will tolerate sawdust or compost as a bulk substrate. Maybe I'll try some in a monotub, try some outside. I'll just do a little of experimenting to see if we can get these to grow. Anyway, thanks for watching the Mushroom Cult video. You can find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and on the website mushroomcult.net. Join the cult. Start a culture.